Good evening. Please remain standing for the invocation which will be offered by Bishop Donald Jackson. Most holy, wise, everlasting Father, we thank you for the opportunity to be gathered together for this memento occasion. As we begin these ceremonies, God, we ask you first to consecrate this place and keep us under your protection. Bless these our graduates who have accomplished this great milestone. We thank you, O oh God, for giving them the strength to go through every test and trial. Thank you for their families that have supported them wholly. And God, we thank you for those that have helped them and gifted them the wisdom and knowledge to utilize in their careers, namely our president, faculty, staff, and board of directors. As we go through the celebration, O oh God, we ask you to bless everything that it may be done in decent and in order. These blessings we ask in thy name, amen. These walls and all these picture frames Every name they show These halls I've walked a thousand times Heartbreaks and valentines Friends of mine all know Look at everything I was And everything I've ever loved And I can see how much I've grown And though the mirror doesn't see it It's clear to me I feel it I can make it on my own I'm not afraid of moving on and letting go it's just so hard to say goodbye to what I know I know This time, no one's gonna say goodbye I keep you in this heart of mine This time, I know it's never over No matter who or what I am I carry where we all began time that we had I will hold forever these old familiar places where every face is another part of me I played a different game then They call me a different name then I think of all the things I did And how I wish I knew what I know now I see how far I've come and what I've got right I was looking for that spotlight I was looking for myself Got over what I was afraid of I showed them all that I was made of More than trophies on the shelf Through all the battles we have lost And might have won I've never stopped believing in the words we sung We sung This time, no one's gonna say goodbye I keep you in this heart of mine Where we all began This time that 
Welcome to our Fall 2020 commencement. Before I begin some introductions, I would like to draw your attention to the commencement etiquette request lifted in your program. Also, at the end of the ceremony, please remain seated until I provide directions for an orderly exit to avoid crowding at the doorways. This commencement is taking place in difficult times because of COVID-19, but I am very pleased that we are able to offer this occasion to celebrate the achievement of our graduates together with some of their family and friends. The platform party is much smaller than normal, but please allow me to introduce them individually. I will ask each to stand to be recognised. Representing the Board of Trustees are Mr. Robert E. Lee, Chair of the Board of Trustees, Class of 87, Marion. Dr. Randall Dozier, Vice Chair of the Board of Trustees, Class of 77, Murrells Inlet. We appreciate the wisdom and guidance of the Board and are pleased to have you with us here this evening. We also have some representatives of the faculty and administrative staff present. Mr. Glenn Gawley, Chair of the Faculty. Dr. Alyssa Waters, Vice President for Enrollment Management. Ms. Alison Stedman, Associate Provost for Academic Affairs. And Ms. Anne Williams, Registrar. And now it is my privilege to present the president of Francis Marion University, Dr. Luther F. Carter. Dr. Carter. Thank you, Mr. Provost. Thank you, Mr. Provost. It's uh, good to see you here tonight. Guests, faculty, graduates, welcome to commencement, the most significant and celebrated event on our calendar each year. In just a few short minutes, we will confer your degrees and you'll receive your diplomas. You know, FMU has held a commencement every year for 50 consecutive years. It recognizes the completion of this phase of your education and allows you the opportunity to celebrate that, uh, that occasion with your families and friends. Of course, this weekend, the traditional graduation ceremony actually becomes five separate ceremonies due to the distant constraints imposed by the pandemic. And we have dispensed with the commencement speaker and we've dispensed with the awarding of honorary degrees to keep the event brief 
while still providing each of you the opportunity to walk across this stage, receive your degrees, and accept the praise that you so richly deserve. Let me begin this evening by describing the profile of your fall 2020 class. Your class has 336 graduates, 227 are receiving undergraduate degrees, 109 of you are receiving graduate degrees this weekend. Among the undergraduates, 44 will graduate with honors, 42 with Latin honors, and two with university honors. The youngest graduate this weekend is 20 years old, the oldest graduate is 62 years old, and the average class age is 26 years old. And as we're always proud to note at FMU, of the 336 graduates, 321 are South Carolinians, 96% of the graduating class. You know, interestingly enough, in the middle of the pandemic, this is the largest fall graduating class in the history of the university. Maybe another reason to have five separate commencement exercises. Tonight's ceremony, the very first one of the weekend, recognizes those of you earning degrees in the biological sciences and the behavioral sciences. But your complete course of study has included classes in other disciplines too. In fact, the average undergraduate here this evening has completed 43 courses, attended over 2,000 hours of lectures and labs, taken 130 examinations, written 54 analytical or clinical papers or reports, more or less. The average graduate student this evening has taken 12 to 14 courses, attended about 600 hours of lectures or labs, taken 42 exams, and written 26 papers, again, more or less. Obviously, what's important is not the process you've completed. What's important is the knowledge that you've mastered. By that standard, you'd acquired a splendid education, broadly based in the arts, sciences, and humanities, and firmly grounded and focused on the specific expertise in your discipline or field. And your parents thought you were just parting all that time. Of course, the last semester and a half of your education occurred amidst the global pandemic, an event unparalleled in the modern history of education. You've lost and you've gained a fair amount during the last nine months. You've missed some of the excitement of finishing your senior year in a traditional manner, the chance to celebrate your success personally with many faculty, staff, and classmates, and most of all, the opportunity to participate in a very large and grand commencement ceremony. On the other hand, you've gained something of enormous value. You've gained the sense of confidence in yourself and your ability to sustain adversity, absorb uncertainty, and keep your focus on finishing this degree. And while your commencement ceremony this evening might be a tad smaller, it's more intimate and it's a little more personalized. But above all, above everything else, you've succeeded in earning this degree. And you'll remember this academic and personal accomplishment for the rest of your life. No class has ever graduated from this university under more trying circumstances than the spring and fall classes of the year of 2020. Over the next few decades, you'll tell your children and grandchildren about your experience. I hope you do. You deserve the right to do so. Of course, much of this success also came as a result of the tenacity and the persistence of our wonderful faculty. Always remember this, no one takes more pride in your accomplishments than this faculty. They care deeply about you, and they'll follow your careers closely. 
You know, are you surprised by that? Well, don't be. A common topic of faculty's discussion focuses on what our graduates are doing. Moreover, we'll always be there for you. When you need references, when you need letters of recommendation, when you need calls made to prospective employers, when you need advice about career changes, and I hope there'll be a few of those in your future, and so on. You committed your education to us. We're committing to you to be there whenever you need us in the years ahead. After all, we share a common legacy, our devotion to this institution. Now, this is also the time to express special appreciation. You know, many of your parents, spouses, and families, some of whom are here this evening, have made enormous personal and financial sacrifices for you to acquire this degree. Many have dipped into their savings, and more than a few have used or borrowed on retirement accounts to help you get through here. Of course, they're motivated by the knowledge that you are the very best investment in their lives, a calculation that comes more from the heart than from any balance sheet. So graduates, do me a favor. On your way home or at your next family meal, let them know how much their support has meant and remind them that the degree you receive tonight belongs to them as much as it belongs to you. Oh, and in that discussion with a simple, I love you. Trust me, nothing you say will make them happier or more appreciative. Well, except maybe hearing about the search for a job. But that's a different subject for a different day. For many of you, that may come as early as tomorrow morning. Let me close by just saying that your alma mater is so proud of you and what you've accomplished under a very extraordinary set of circumstances. So, Go and use this experience you've gained to build a very extraordinary life. Good luck and Godspeed. Will the graduates please rise? Mr. President, I am pleased to present these candidates for their respective degrees. Each graduate completed the required course of study and each was approved by the faculty. They completed their studies in difficult circumstances in the period of the novel coronavirus pandemic and I present them today to receive their degrees. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees and the faculty of Francis Marion University, I confer upon you your respective degrees with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Congratulations. I wish to ask Dr. Alyssa Waters, Vice President for Enrollment Management, Ms. Alison Stedman, Associate Provost, Ms. Ann Williams, Registrar, Registrar to come forward to assist in the presentation of diplomas. Will the graduates please come forward to receive their diplomas? Master of Science in Applied Psychology. Carolyn Lillian Esperanza Bazin. I want to thank my loved ones that supported, encouraged, and believed in me during this process. I want to give a special thanks to my mom, Evelina, and Kia, because without your help, today would not be possible. Lastly, Caden, mommy is finally done, and dad, I did it. Alexis Chantrell Franklin. Shaquita Kiera Galloway. 
I would like to thank God for keeping me throughout these last four years and never giving up on me. To my parents, thank you for your push, sacrifices, and love. My brothers, I love y'all. Thank y'all for being my motivation. Finally, to my friends, I love you deeply. Rhonda Gandy. Jocelyn Marie Halver. I want to thank my parents and family for encouraging me and supporting me, my roommate for making me find time to laugh, our professors for powering through all those headaches we gave you, and our cohort for celebrating our successes and growing from our failures together. We made it. Lewis Stone Holland. Blake Alyssa Yoder. Thank you, Josh, for your undying support in my academic pursuit. Thank you to my family for the constant encouragement in reaching my goals. Lastly, thank you to my cohort for enduring the program alongside of me and making the time together meaningful and fun. Bachelor of Science, Miosha Nadria Baskin. Firstly, I would like to thank God for allowing me to finish this journey and embark on another. I chose my path, but he ordered my steps. Mom, I can't thank you enough for all your sacrifices. Without you, it wouldn't be possible. With God's grace, I finished to this race. Aaliyah Elaine Blake. Sabrina Tanita Byram. Special thank you to God first, my mama, Rita McManus, my daddy, Mickey McManus, my little brother, Mattel McManus, and my boyfriend, Zachary Nivens. I came to college for everyone who believed in me. I finished college because I started believing in myself. Don't ever give up on yourself, period. Marquinton Donye Campbell Cum Laude. Thank you to Ivana for helping me get through, Kristen for sticking with me for 13 years, my dad for teaching me being tough doesn't make a man, actions do. And my exceptional mom for being tough on me and pushing me to see my true potential. Thank y'all. Shaira Contissa Clarity. First, I would like to thank God because without him, none of this would be possible. Special thanks to my mom, Sharon, my grandmother, Aline, Aunt Tish, and my brothers who supported me from day one. Thanks to my family and friends for their support. The marathon continues. Haley Ginger Clark. Lucas Hudson Davis. Thank you to all the wonderful staff who took time to help me navigate the maze that is college and get me to my destination. You have all been so patient and rest assured that kindness will not be forgotten. Oceana Dennis. It is an honor and privilege to graduate from Francis Marion University. Even though this was no cakewalk, FMU prepared me for my future and helped contribute to my work ethic. I also thank Dr. Waddles and Dr. James for all of the things that they have done. Bachelor of Arts, Alexis Logan Floyd. The day is finally here. I'd like to thank my family for giving me constant support and encouragement through this journey. Thank you to my fiance, Aunt Andrew, for being my listening ear and shoulder to cry on. Thank y'all for being there. I'm so excited for this next chapter. Let's get it. Bachelor of Science, Carolyn Fullwood, magna cum laude. Today would not be possible without God and the amazing people around me. To my parents, Brooklyn, and all of my family, thank you for supporting me. I love y'all. Shakishie Alora Tyleek Galloway. Javiana Caradad Green.
Alexia Janae Harvin. Savannah Lee Hebler. Austin Hunter Holland. I would personally like to thank all the environmental professors for their hard work. They made me understand how truly important our state's natural resources are, and they should be protected. Amber Ruby Generet. I would like to thank God, my family, and all my friends. I couldn't have done it without my amazing support system. Even though COVID has changed things, remember, there are far, far better things ahead than any we leave behind. C.S. Lewis. Tyasia Lenise Jennings. Natalie Kunkel. Faith Nadai Lokibe. I first thank God for bringing me this far. Thanks, Mom, and those that encouraged me to keep this path. I'm getting closer to becoming my dream. As William Ward says, if you can imagine it, you can achieve it. If you dream it, you can become it. Thanks, FMU. Janesha Monet Lowry Cum Laude. Thank you, Mom, for all your support. I appreciate you. Thank you, Dad, for calling me almost daily, especially during my work shift. I would like to thank my family members, professors, co-workers, staff, advisors, friends, Arbriana, and Folly for making my stay at Francis Marion University great. Tevin McElveen. Jaquela Tiara Moses. I would like to give a huge thanks to my family who have supported me on this journey. Special thanks to my brother and grandmother who showed me unconditional love and helped mold me into the woman I am today. I would not have made it this far without you guys. Christian Blake Newton, summa cum laude. Rebecca Pacheco. I want to thank FMU, all of my professors and friends for making my college experience the best ever. A very special thanks to my parents, Teodoro and Quirina for everything they have done for me. I am who I am, I am where I am because of them. I love you. Jacob P. Parker Cum Laude. Jalisa Chanel Perry. Jakira Nyasia Porter Lackey. Thank you God for, and my support system. There were times I felt like giving up with obstacle after obstacle, but look at me today. Mom and dad, I did it. Walking across this stage is such an accomplishment, but this is only the beginning. It's been real, FMU, but I've got to go. Karen Marie Poston. Mary Josephine Rabb. Completing my degree is a dream I have followed for three years. Earning it opens future paths and sets an example that tenacity is a valuable trait to my precious daughter, Vivian. Thank you to all my professors who helped me along the way, especially Dr. Pete. Never give up. Issa Marie Ramos. I want to thank me for believing in me. I want to thank me for doing all this hard work. I want to thank me for having no days off. I want to thank me for never quitting. I want to thank me for just being me at all times. Taja Shadeja Randolph. First, giving honor to God who is the head of my life. 
I would like to give thanks to my wonderful parents who for always supporting me and having my back at any time. Thank you to my fiance and friends for being there emotionally and physically. I love you guys, thanks. Shana Monique Richardson. All honor and praise goes to God for allowing me to accomplish this milestone in my life. To my number one supporters, my parents, thank you for always pushing me and encouraging me to never give up. To my family, friends, and church family, thank you for prayers and support. Adam Rose. Andrea Vanessa Scott. I thank God for watching over me, my parents for supporting and pushing me, Shanice for all the advice and support, Arian for never leaving my side, and special thanks to Zaria for keeping me uplifted. I love all of you. Big thanks to the professors and thank you for all of the knowledge. Natasha Deshay Sims. I honestly used to think this day would never come. To my family and friends, I'll never be able to thank you for pushing me when I needed it most and for the endless support and encouragement. I am forever grateful. I did the dang thing, it's on to the next. Joshua Thomas Smith, cum laude with University Honors. Zachary Washington. Madison Hartley Watson. Thank you to everyone who has supported me through college. I love you all. Maitland Elizabeth Weaver, cum laude. Kelsey Julianne Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, the class of fall 2020. <laughs> to the members of the audience, for reasons of courtesy and safety, we ask that you remain seated until the graduates have exited, and then I will give instructions for sections to leave so we can avoid crowding at the doorways and maintain social distancing. Now, before we conclude, graduates, please stand and wave to your family and friends and thank them for their years of support. <laughs> And now to give the benediction, Bishop Donald Jackson. Now may the grace of our God and the fellowship of his Holy Spirit, may he dispatch his angels to give us traveling mercy May you rest, rule, and abide, both now and forevermore. Amen. This concludes our commencement. Please remain seated until after all the graduates have exited. Graduates, please exit by the two rear doors, starting with the back row and then progressing forwards. 
Thank you. Thank you.